Have you ever wondered how they get those cute little ceramic ornaments in these Christmas balls? It's very simple. Let me show you how. Items you're going to need for this project. A small to medium size plastic Christmas ball. A little ceramic figurine for Christmas, any holiday. Just make sure your ornament isn't too much bigger than the Christmas ball you chose. I'm going to use this tape holder for packing tape to sit this down in. You probably could also use a wide mouth ball jar, mason jar, but this was the best I could do right now. You're also going to need a thick double-sided tape. Uh, Gorilla Glue makes it and also Alien tape you can purchase online. Your X-Acto knife with a brand new blade because obviously this project is not for small children. Um, and if you do make it with your child, just make sure you do the cutting and it has to have a brand new blade on it. So what we're going to do is sometimes they actually have, I don't know if you can see it, like right there, you see that little line? That's where we're going to make the slit. And it doesn't have to be really, really long. Okay, so we're going to start right there. And we're gonna go down nice, smooth, straight line. Watch your fingers. Should do it now getting her inside here one swift quick push you don't want to play too long because then you're going to end up getting marks in your plastic ready one two and three she's in pretty cool you just get your tweezers and gently push it back in place. And we're going to have some fake snow in there and an, a little embellishment that's going to go down both sides. So this is all going to be covered. That does not look too bad. Now, how do we get her to stick to the bottom? also pretty simple most of the time so we're going to take a little tiny piece and we're going to cut it because I think this is going to work better and no one's going to see the bottom anyway because we're putting fake snow okay and, but the only thing you have to do make sure you do it with this is be very very careful you get it on the bottom the first time so that's why these babies come in handy. Super long, and you shouldn't have any problems, especially with her laying on her side. Yeah, because I just got a funny feeling when we get stuck. All right, now, I'm going to grab this, and very carefully, without hitting her, we need it to go right there. Stay off. Okay, now we're gonna put it right there on the bottom. And please come off the tweezers. Come on, thank you. Yeah, very nice. Okay, now, trial and error. Let's add a little bit more of our tea. We'll get that piece we cut off. And we're gonna put that right on top of the other, like so. 
Come on. Get off. Did it. And it's probably one of the worst videos I'm making, but it's fun. Right? Right. Come on, baby. Get off. Straighten up. Let's get our shit together here. Turn like that. And come on, little girl, get on there. Stand up. And you're on. Okay, push that down. This guy. I think we did it. Secure. Alrighty, now we're going to add the embellishment on the side to cover this cut line. Being that the top of this is silver, I'm going to use this really nice fabric, self adhesive stick abilities by the paper studio. This is purchased at um Hobby Lobby. And I always buy their stuff when it's 40% off. No coupon needed. So we're going to take this off and measure it out. These come out so pretty. And we're going to throw some fake snow in there and that's that. Let's use, I really like this. Right there. Hold it in place. This could be so tricky. And then just work our way down like so. Take it right to the bottom and just go straight up the other side and snip it with the scissor. Next, I'm going to add this really pretty glittery one. Actually, there's no glitter on there, believe it or not, but it's very cute. And we're going to put that around here because it's a little too plain for my taste. And then this time I'm going to cut it with an X-Acto knife because that scissor was just a little too dull. Just go ahead and wrap her around. This just gives it an extra oomph. To your project and if you're giving away as gifts or to the teachers or the, your mailman or whoever you really want it to look like you gave it your all the extra effort what a difference okay get your exacto make sure it's sharp and you're going to cut right where it's going to meet there very carefully and always away from yourself. All right, looks nice. Now, before we put that on, we're gonna add the snow. You don't have to put any type of glue in here, just put it in with your plastic knife, or if you have one of the bead scoopers, also sold at Michael's. I'll have it in the link. Everything will be in the description below. And the spoon's just not going to cut it. It's a little too wide. Now you can use any kind of fake snow that you want. I'm just going to use this little bit of plastic that I have and try to get it like right on the bottom. If you hit her head, so what? And the reason I'm using this is because it's got those little 
faint colors of the pinks when it hits the light. And it kind of matches her a little bit. She's got pink on her. I think one more should do it. All right. Now go ahead and put your cap back on. And try not to squeeze too hard on the sides here like I just did. And, and you have your Christmas ornament. She looks pretty cute. I think she came out pretty cute. You do not see the line that you cut and we're good to go. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know. And I hope you all have a great holiday season.